Europa. Okay, so we've got red representing strength, black for power, white for purity, and also we've got a population of Kosa and Debele. So with my dots, this the dots representing Debele, and then we've got triangle circles from the Tosa culture, and then with our outfit, it's basically inspired by the school culture. So we've got like a mini skirt with um, ruffles. We've got a, a, a leather crop top and a toga. So basically the inspiration came from outfits that are worn by Zulu young girls. So they've got like a skirt. Usually they don't wear like a top. Um, Okay, so the story behind um, our outfit is that usually young girls that are Zulu wear that, um, what's that? <laughs> to a ceremony called Umehulo, um, which happens when a, child, a child's virginity gets tested and then you are basically stepping from being a girl into a woman. So yeah, let's start. Okay. The so, so, cry. so our war cry, uh, we took it from uh, the ancient Yoruba warrior Shungo. Uh -huh. So every time that war cry starts, it's an affirmation. Uh, I'll, I'll, put, I'll say it's a way to scare the enemies. Uh, once the war cry is heard, everywhere, everybody scatters and disappears because uh, they know what to expect. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. <clears throat> Shango! another clown for their property of freedom and the dots from my forehead down to my nose represent danger and the lines on my partner's um, forehead the three lines on his face represents the pain the awesome man passed through because Everybody of the 